Hello and welcome to Danielle's Denture Diaries. I am Danielle. I am going to start off by apologizing and saying that I am sorry for my absence from my channel. I have been trying to stay as active as I can in the comment section um, to try and show you guys I'm still here. I still care. I haven't gone anywhere. I did just get very sick, so if I do cough or have to clear my throat or pause throughout the video, I do apologize in advance. But I also wanted to let you guys know that I have noticed that this channel has grown to have over 200 subscribers. So those of you new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome. Thank you for hanging in there. and being a part of this journey with me. The mission of my channel is to continue to grow the denture community. And one of the way things that I'm doing here is I am putting my personal story, thoughts, feelings, and experiences out into the universe to maybe help someone like yourself or someone else as you go through your own processes and things like that. Um, but the biggest thing is I don't want anyone going through this to feel alone or think that they're alone. There's always someone here that's going through something as far as the dentures go and making the decisions behind it and just dealing with the day-to-day, -day, um, you know, routines and habits, struggles, the realities of having dentures. Um, so that being said, um, I also want to apologize for the video quality. It's going to be a little bit different. I am now recording from my laptop instead of my phone. I recently got a new phone and I'm trying to figure that out as well. But if this goes well, I may just start recording from my laptop anyway. <coughs> so speaking of growing channels and platforms and the community. Something that I have found since I've been away from my channel not making content is Facebook and Instagram groups there. Um, I'll talk about the Instagram group first because it's not the biggest one. I haven't found much of an Instagram presence for dentures. I did end up following Cushion Grip I have a couple tubes of cushion grip, but I have not used it yet, and I'll explain that in probably another video. But I did start following them because they have some ambassadors or spokespeople that I have been following since before my denture journey began. Um, so, you know, I just thought it might make sense to follow that. Um, but on Cushion Group with Instagram, there's some comedy, there's some informative content there as well, as well as different people from different platforms and ranges and walks of life who are all dealing with not only Cushion Grip, but obviously having dentures. So if you have an Instagram, I encourage you to check that out. Um, but find any denture community there in Instagram if you can find it. I believe Princess Glitterhead is also on there. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've been on Instagram now. But on Facebook, there is a much bigger presence and a lot more interaction going on, which for me is very important because I like to have a discussion around what I'm dealing with and what I think others are dealing with and hearing the different perspectives and experiences and thoughts and feelings and sometimes even fears behind having dentures and sometimes even breaking through those myths and stigmas behind having dentures. So two of the communities that I have now become a part of on Facebook, one of them is called Dating with Dentures. Now I'm obviously going through my own personal story there, but to have to deal with things like 
the intimacies of dating, the confidence of dating, the charisma that has to come behind dating as well to put yourself out there and meet new people on a significant level um, to me is very important. I talk to people for a living anyways, but to talk about having something like dentures and not having your own teeth that has its own sense of vulnerability there <coughs> that obviously I've never dealt with before. <laughs> so I did join that. The group is not as interactive as the other one that I joined. Um, I'm not sure why. I wish there was more conversation behind it, but we can save that for another video in itself. I feel like Dating with dentures is a very big topic, and that's something that a lot of people tend to kind of want to talk about, but you don't have an immediate friend in your phone to call or text about it, or at least I don't. Um, so I'll offer that here as well as I go through my own journey. <coughs> um, but the other group that I want to talk about is called Young with Dentures. I'm sorry. <coughs> young with dentures and my channel is open to all walks of life all age groups for me personally picking that page to follow i just felt that it, they would be going through very relevant situations and phases in life as myself things such as discovering new careers career paths um having young children dealing with having dentures with a young child um, and you know expanding your family the dating with the dentures um, not that you can't you know be higher up in age and dating but you know I, ho I hope you understand <coughs> so the whole point though is I do encourage you guys to broaden the horizon even more I already do encourage you to look at not only my YouTube channel, but other YouTube channels as well, but also go to things like Instagram, Facebook, whatever you can do to get your hands on more perspectives, more stories, the better I think it's going to be in the long run for you. I personally don't stick to one version of taking in information. I will go to Instagram sometimes, Typically, YouTube was my personal go-to, but I had never thought about going to Facebook and finding a support group there, so I do strongly encourage you guys to do that, but mostly in this video, I just wanted to hop on and let you guys know that I'm still thinking about all of you. For those of you who are brand new to my channel and you're leaving comments and asking questions, I know I say thank you a lot in my comments, but I really do thank you guys. Having the conversation is not only hopefully good for you, but it's good for me as well. Um, like I said, I don't personally have anyone in my life who went through anything like I've went through in terms of, you know, extractions and reconstructional surgery and having dentures. So it's very difficult to have anyone to talk to. Um, so in a way you guys are helping me as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off, but I'm going to be making a series of videos tonight and working on figuring out editing them and getting them uploaded through my laptop. So bear with me if everything seems a little different. I know my background is different right now, but I wanted to say thank you guys and thank you for your patience with me as I learn how to YouTube. <laughs> but I hope you guys have been doing wonderful. Um, check in with me in the comments. Let me know how you've been. Um, let me know if there's any content that's been playing on your mind, if there's something that I haven't done yet that you think I should be doing. And I'm just really thankful that I have you guys, and I'm really thankful that the platform itself is reflecting a growth in the community so um, if you like this kind of content go ahead and give this video a like 
If you want to see different kinds of videos or have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I stay pretty active in my comments because I know what it's like to have questions and not feel like there's someone to go to. I hope that I can do that for you. And even if it's just a vent, rant, put an idea out there, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you would like to see more videos from me in the future and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you real soon.